In this segment, I'm going to show you how you can use your external media to write a design onto a card like a USB memory stick or a PCATA card. So if we take a closer look at my desktop then, I have the option to write a design to my card with this button here. And of course, right now the, the button is gray and that means um, I can't save a design to my card. And well, primarily the reason I can't is because I don't have anything on my embroidery screen to save. So why don't we start this segment just by going to open and choosing to open up one of the designs that came with digitizer software and this is just um, little flowers in a basket found in the embroidery album which was on the my documents folder so once I've opened that design now you'll notice that the option to first of all send the design to your machine or write the design out of the card became available so that means I can send these designs to my machine now something that's important about saving designs you know to be stitched is you need to make sure your design fits clearly within your hoop and you can see here that I have selected the MC11000 and I have the hoop size um, the ST hoop so clearly the embroidery fits within that hoop and the reason I bring that up is because if you have some sort of embroidery that's for any reason outside of the hoop then trying to write it to the card may give you an error and tell you that you need to select a hoop that's appropriate so well first of all why don't we go ahead and just try and write this design to the card so I've got a design on my screen if I just choose the button write to card this window appears and basically in this window it gives you the ability to browse the different um, external media that's connected to your computer and I currently have a USB memory stick with this name Kingston stuck into my machine and so what I need to do is I need to the, on my card there's an EMBF folder and this is the folder that was actually created by my embroidery machine when I first used the um, embroidery machine with my USB memory stick so this is the folder where I need to save my embroidery designs so that the machine will be able to find them. So I just double click to open that EMBF folder. There's also an open button here if you wanted to just you know, select a folder and push open. This is your travel up down and this is your um, view options like icons and I'll show you, I can show you that again in a moment but right now I have my EMBF folder open on my card and I could simply hit write to save this to my card or if I wanted to change the name from basket.jeff to something else I could click on this option here and it gives me the ability to change the name to maybe if you wanted to put basket um, number two to give it you know if you wanted to have two versions of the same design you could change the name here so we'll write basket dash two in JEF format to my card and it defaults to JEF format because when you write it when you use this button to write a design onto your card that's the same as saving it as Jeff format because of course that's what the Genomi embroidery machine wants is Jeff format so you can open your Jan file but writing onto, onto a card will always be saving it as a Jeff so we've now saved this design to our card um, we could also take a look at the contents of our card so there's a file drop down menu for external media and in here you have write a design which we just took a look at and now we have write designs read and erase and with this option you get a slightly different window still we have my Kingston um, USB stick on the right hand side and on this Kingston the folders that are available is this EMBF folder which if I double click on now we can see there's the design saved in the MBF folder that we just made, basket number two. Now on the left hand side of this window we have the desktop of my computer and it's browsing the contents of my computer. So for example if I went into my documents that's where I have my embroidery album folder so I'll go ahead and open that and I can see that here in my embroidery album folder I have a Jeff file that's actually been split. It's a, it's doll number one and doll number two they're two designs that are split and so for example if I wanted to I could write these to the card now in here see how I have a little um, empty window if I click on that it puts a check mark in there if I click on this one it puts a check mark in there so I've selected these two designs so if I wanted to I could click write and now they're copied to my card 
And similarly, if I didn't, if I want to clean up the contents of my card, I could select those two designs, and I could either one read them back over to my computer desktop, or well, I guess not my desktop, but my embroidery album folder, wherever I've selected here. I could write them back to my computer, or I could erase them. So in this case, why don't I go ahead and say, well, I didn't, I didn't want that doll on my card. I think I'll take it off now, and I just erase. It asks me if I'm sure, and I say yes. So there, I took those off. Maybe I want to take, maybe I got this basket design and I want to make sure I save a copy on my computer. So I read that to my hard drive. And so now you can see I have that saved in my, in the My Documents embroidery album folder. And now I could go ahead and select this design on my card and erase it. So that's your ability to erase designs. And it's also, your, also one way that you can copy multiple designs onto your card at the same time. So for example, if you had, um, a CD that had you know 25 designs that you wanted to put all of those designs on your card you could browse your computer till you'll until you found the um, you know your your C drive or your D drive or whatever wherever your CD was at select the designs on it that you wanted to write onto the card so I've selected three designs here and when I hit write it'll write all three designs onto my card so that's how you can control the read, write, and erase. And this is what I was going to show you is, so this is the open folder and the travel up one folder. And this button here is just your view. So if you click on it, it gives you the list view with the details. If you click on it again, it gives you the icon view so you can browse the designs visually. Yeah, so that's a little bit more about uh, external media. And I'm not currently uh, connected to an embroidery machine by... Um, by a direct link but if you have a direct link to your machine with either a wireless connection or a wire connection right from your computer to to your embroidery machine then it's the same thing you can click on this to write a design directly onto your machine or you can go to the machine drop down menu to be able to browse the contents of your machine and therefore read write and erase the designs that are currently on your machines memory as well so that's my segment about using the external media and the machine options.